Hall, and Bishan Yu. The titles and liveries of the blue of all the timeless characters. Um, and also I'm gonna be showing you the clay pit and the dip of in the railway series. But first here we have Thomas. I'm also not gonna be showing the faces. Sorry about that. Some damn rent some rent. I don't know if it shows on the thing, but some random number for some reason calls. Sorry about that. But here's his Thomas's whistle. Here's his old whistle. Magic Railroad whistle. Wait, hold on. Here's his toggles airplane. And I'm gonna pull there we go. So y'all can see the other thing. Breakfast. Thomas comes to breakfast. The B R crest live. B R crest. British railway crest. Buffers. Um, I guess when you crash during when the station master or yeah crash. And there, coal build up. Debris. From when he crashed into. The um, um, into the oh, when he on the um, I had tried to rem trying to remember, sorry. Oh, uh, when he crashed into the brick wall, I forgot what episode it was called. My bad, sorry. Eggs, I believe this was a railway series or fan story. I think it's railway series of him covered in eggs when he hit a lorry. Fish. When to, when that an old crane accidentally dropped fish on him and something in the air. Footplate white top. And here's the black top. Footplate black side rod. Sides, I meant not side rods, but you know what I mean, yeah. Funny funnel from the um, Slippy Sodor, I believe that's what it was called. It was a nitrogen era, it was the Sharon Miller episode. Uh, Hero of the Rails Jam, Thomas got covered in jam and bushes and branches and bushes, you know. Magician from that. Um, hit era episode of hit era episode of a dream sequence thing, whatever it's called. Metal from the season seven of Tom, season seven eight. I don't remember that episode, but it's in season seven. I First suit. Basically, Thomas is a monkey. Number one. Where he's at is his number one. You can also hear here. Uh, here's his LBSC seventy. Oh, and oh, no, no. here's his broomstick number. Here's his BR number. Oh wait, yeah, BR number three F one. Here's his LBSC number when actually real number instead of the 70. The 70 was supposed to shake the like the anniversary of the 70 year of Thomas and Friends when the adventure begins came out. But here's his actual number 105. Here's a southern when if he stayed in stayed on the LBSC and when they joined the Southern Railway. This is what he would have had. Uh, numberless, basically railway series when he first came before he gained the number. Paint splatter, calling all engines. Quarry dust, basically he been working at the quarry all day, and he's covered in quarry dust. Wheel rims, basically his wheels are got rim got paint on them. His the rim of his wheels got paint on them, like white, yellow. Yeah, and there we go. Soap, 
basically telling me he's going to the wash down. Excuse me. Step ladder. You can change the step ladder to this version and this version. Sunglasses. And wheel walls. Here he's got white, red, black. And that's it. Those are all of his toggle, toggle, toggles. Excuse me, sorry. Um, here's his paint of uh, deliveries. British Railway Blue. Now, originally these would have been painted black because most of these were shunters and they didn't have the much standards like passenger locomotives, which the passenger locomotives were painted in like BR Green, Red, um, some were painted black and, you know, other colors. Broomstick, LBSC black, LBSC brown. The black is what they originally, the LBSC E2 class locomotives were painted in. Only two were painted in this brown livery. But they were doing a trial passenger run, but it failed. But anyway, NWR blue, green, Red, pink undercoat. Adventure begins when they took his blue, green paint teal paint off, and teal green paint off. And this is an undercoat, basically to prevent rust from developing. Southern Railway green, which I kind of like. It's okay. Uh, and here's teal green. And anyway, that was Thomas. Next up, we have Edward. I won't be doing three because for until I get a new phone to see what happened. Hopefully, it'll work. It depends. Anyway, here's Edward. Here's his whistle. Alt whistle. Give me money. 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 Right. I forgot he had that. They add random alt whistles to the locomotives for some reason, like joke jokes. I don't get why, but sorry for that. But anyway, here's his toggles. The garden party posters. Um, I know this was a season two thing episode, I believe. I don't know what the episode is called. His side rod, basically Edward's exploit. When his side rod got damaged. And you can remove it too. Click it again and it removes the side rod. Anyway, that's are all his toggles. Here's his liveries. British Railway Blue. CWB Blue. Also, if the K2s were already scrapped before British Railway. So, they they were scrapped, I believe, in the 1930s during the Great Depression era. Because these were already outdated. Because these were 1800s locomotives. Edwards Plus, the Furnace Railway K2s. But anyway, here's CW Blue, CW and B Blue, Exploit, basically his, right, his, part, this part right here where his side rod is, got damaged because it hit, you know what I mean. Um, here's Furnace Railway Red, the newer red, old, old version, and NWR Blue. And then that's it. Here is his tender. You can here's his tender frame of like the um toggles. Um garden party poster. Toggle numbers and locos furnace railway. British railway. No number railway series early railway series. And he got the number two. Tender body. Basically, he gains the water cap behind... It's basically the water cap of when he got the new Fowler tender. And, yeah. You can change that. And also, you can change the color. BR Blue. CW and B Blue. Furnace Railway Red. Furnace Railway Red Old. NWR Blue. And NWR Blue Old. And that is all to Edward. 
There we go. Next up, we got Henry. If I can get into it. I don't know why his cap. Here is Henry. Here's his whistles. He doesn't have an alt whistle. Um, here's his toggles. Fish. When he got... When he, um was on the bow of something in the air. New firebox. Well, that was the new firebox. If you take it off, he's just got a regular circle firebox. If you give him, he has the bell pyre firebox, which was very common for most of the, of Stan, William Stanier's design locomotives. They gave him bell pyre fireboxes because they make, it was much white, I believe more wider compared to like a right circle firebox or a Pacific firebox, I believe. Here's his old firebox. Oh, and he was a mix between an A1 and C1 Atlantic. Paint pot, basically when the queen, uh, queen comes to Sodor. And he had an accident when he accidentally blew steam. At a painter, and he fell, and the paint can he landed on his steam dome. Smoke box supporters, smoke box supporters, basically to hold a smoke box in place. He gained these when I believe when he got his new shape, because in his old one he didn't have them. But cat yeah, splashers, he can remove them to make them railway series Henry, because most of the LMS Black Fives. Did not have this. It, it's up to you if you want. Top feeder. Basically this is a. I believe a water feeder. Basically to control the water. How much water produced. And yeah. But as that is all of Henry's toggles. Here's his liveries. BR black. His number is 45153. Basic gray. Basically, when he first came out of the workshops of when he was built, NWR Blue, a railway series reference of when he, after he got out of the tunnel, after he got over Ward, and he was painted in blue. But then he was reverted back to green because people were mistaking him for Gordon. Because at that time, they were, he was still a C1 Atlantic. And they won C1 Atlantic. Here, and here is NWR Green. Here's his... What he has. He has his number three. Now, British Railway. LMS. No number. Basically, when he first came to Sodor, he, he gained... He had no number. Oh, oops. I was going to show you the number three back. There we go. You have to click on the tenure to actually... But any. To do the color changing. Uh, here's blue. In WR blue. British Troy black. <laughs> Excuse me. Again. Gray. And back to green. Anyway that is Henry. Now let me show you the clay pits. Here's where you spawn the engines. Um, if you go over here, you can spawn the rolling stock, and here's the loop line, if you can see. Yeah, that's the loop line. We're going to go by the upper part in a little bit. Well, it doesn't really matter, but here's, you have to go uphill. This way leads you out of the clay pit. But this way takes you to here, where there's a, a more where you can go and collect more trucks, I guess. And here's this, this lonely hopper right here. I, did, I think this is when Bill and Ben were playing around in that epi season, uh, season 2 episode. Or when either one of the twins, I don't remember who, sit there and put a truck here and then they moved it in the... It dumped China clay everywhere. But anyway. Um, here is. If you go. Wait. Oops. 
Oh, hold on. Wrong. Okay. Hold on. I know what I'm doing. It's just confusing. If you go here, this leads you all the way to the out of the clay pits. Here's the tramway. I believe what it's called the tramway for some reason. I don't understand why there's a tramway here. I mean, it makes no sense. Because don't they need a tramway locomotive, tram locomotive to get through? I believe so. But anyway, this is when, this is, and it just leads to here. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to show you the water thing. Which it's way up here. And also, this leads to... This leads to the clay pits, except when, in, except there's a turntable and a shed. What? And I just died. Oops. Uh, somehow I died, but. Hold on, give me a minute and I'll spawn back. If. Hold on, give me a minute. Um, let me spawn back at the clay pit. Alright, let me go and go back to where I was. Shouldn't take long because I wasn't far. Right, I was here in this part. But anyway, as you can see, there are also mine shafts that are still under a little bit under construction. But as you can see, if you see a little bit, there's the turntable, water, tower, shed, and yeah, coal hopper, coal thing. You get what I mean. Anyway, if you go down here. You, if you go to this small little hut, shed hut, you have to click on the door and it will cause the water to, to do this. And that's how you get to the dig dip. Click on the door again to make it go away. And there we go. And, and here is when you come into Brendan Dock. Things glitching a little bit, but it's okay. Here's where you come to the this way, the one right here leads you out of Brendan Docks. This way over here leads you to where Cranky is, I believe. Yeah, it leads you to Cranky and Big Mickey. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoy the video. I probably what it is, probably the reason why it kept up, my game kept on crashing is because I kept on going to a place instead of a smaller place, probably a different place instead of going to the same place or something like that or some. I'm still going to get me a new phone. I found one for $60 at Walmart. I, at Walmart, and I will get that, I will get that, um, so that way I can post videos, the train ones, of uh, the HS scale trains, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get a table or some, a long table, and run them, like put it to get, put the tracks on, and run the trains, because I cannot lay down because otherwise my blood pressure would go up. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, 
like, comment, and subscribe, and bye.